Hi, this is Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, Freehand Sketching, your first sketch, we will discuss creating a new file and setting up a reference image. Then we'll freely sketch with chalk and pastel. On screen we have my loose sketch, Sunrise with Ross Rock, which I painted with the sharp chalk, real fat chalk, and square hard pastel variants of chalk pastel and crayons. Now let's create a new file by choosing File, New. In the New Image dialog box, choose a canvas preset, or you can type in your own width and height dimensions and enter your own resolution. I set up a blue-gray color by clicking on the color icon and choosing a color in the colors palette here. And I chose basic paper by clicking here on the paper icon and choosing basic paper. I set up a square image by typing in 900 by 900 pixels in the width and height dimensions fields. I'm going to delete the reference image or clear current reference image. To load a reference image, click here on the open reference image icon and navigate to your image. And I'm going to click here on my pink sunrise at Ross Rock and click open. And there I have my reference image. Let's have a look at the reference image panel. To the right of the icon that we just used, we have the dropper tool and we can sample color from our reference image by clicking with the dropper tool here. I can choose a dark color to sketch with. We can use the magnifier to zoom in and to zoom back out, press the command key on the Mac to zoom back out. We can also pan around our image with the grabber tool. If we want to enlarge the width, we pull on the right, you see those little arrows appear. And to enlarge or reduce the height, we pull on these three little dots at the bottom. And again, to clear our reference image, we click on the trash can. Think about your composition before you begin sketching. I wanted roughly two-thirds sky and one-third ocean and landforms. As you can see, I shot my photo reference with approximately these values. To create my loose color sketch, I'll be sketching with the sharp chalk to begin. As you can see, the sharp chalk variant of chalk, pastel, and crayons is chosen in the brush selector. I want to sketch with the sharp chalk using a dark color and will use the dark color that I sampled by clicking in my reference image. So I'll grab my stylus and I'm pressing very lightly on my stylus. Now that we have the basic lines of our sketch freely drawn, I'm going to switch to another variant of the chalk pastel and crayons, the real fat chalk. The real fat chalk is ideal for blocking in large areas of value and color. I'm going to use the same dark color that I used to rough in the linear part of the sketch and I'm pressing very lightly on my stylus and at this point I'm using the default real fat chalk and I'm going to block in some value here as well working very freely I'm not concerned with staying in the lines exactly and I'm going to reduce the size of my brush by going up here to the size slider that way I have a little bit more control. Now I'm going to use the real fat chalk again, but at its default size of 30. So I'm going to increase it back up and I'm going to sample some color. You see I have the dropper chosen here. I'm going to sample some color from my reference and begin blocking in these beautiful shapes of the clouds that we see right up in here.
and we can adjust that if we want it a little brighter by going into the color panel and adjusting the color that we sampled from our reference. As you can see here, most of the color is blocked in and I just have some finessing to do, but I'm going to keep my strokes free and loose as I work. To complete my sketch, I worked freely and loosely, continuing to add color with the real fat chalk. I also used the square hard pastel, which has a more of a grainy look, to add more texture to the sky and to the water. And I finished with a few finer strokes with the sharp chalk. In future videos, we're going to be covering more about each of these tools. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!